Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, this fuzzy one that just walk, went walking by is Freya, my fuzzy little co-star. She'll probably squeak or groan at me shortly. And as always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Just a small little family channel, me, fuzzy puppy, hey baby, the wife. I just love to talk about books. And we're going to keep doing it no matter what, but any support you guys want to give us would be very, very, very appreciated. So, today, today is my, I guess, monthly recap where I want to talk about the top... 10 books that we reviewed in January, and how do I figure that out? How much did you guys watch it? How much did you guys watch it? So basically, the but I'm sorry, not top 10 books, the top five books from, from January. Top five books that got the most views of all the reviews that we did in January. And I gotta tell you guys, this the, the list actually kind of surprises me a little bit, but also pretty cool. So Number one, our most viewed book. This one really surprised me. Johnny Zed. Johnny Zed by John G. Betancourt. And this one surprised me because this is an older book. This is an older book. It was a fantastic, it was a really, really awesome book with a really cool political commentary in it and a very interesting vision of the future. And it's a cyberpunk type of novel, which... Honestly, guys, when we look at, at, at our potential future, you know, we look at things like steampunk and stuff like that and, and diesel punk and things like that. It's kind of cool, like alternate history sort of things. But, but the cyberpunk thing, that, that's, that's less of any kind of alternate history. A sci-fi thing is, is more realistic. Is very much what we could very well end up with in a couple of different ways. One, Cybernetics. Uh, it's definitely something we're looking at. Definitely something we are looking at and and continuing to research and getting better and better and better at. Some things, of course, may not ever be possible, but um, but other things probably will be. And then, of course, the rise of, of of corporations and businesses as basically their own governments and their own powers. Now, what was cool with Johnny Zed was there still was a United States government. It was just different and you could almost say weaker in some areas and much much more powerful in other areas it was just an absolutely fascinating book i actually have another one of john g Betancourt's books it might be in the same same universe even that uh that i do plan on reading and then, then and i'll be reviewing that for you guys pretty soon but yeah a surprising number one most viewed the number two most viewed is dungeon diving 101 by bruce centaur and i get it i get it I'm, I'm a huge Bruce Centaur fan. Obviously, there's some of his series that I, I don't read. I try to read all of his books, but just like any author, not every book, every character, every plot is going to resonate with me, but his writing style is fantastic. But I'll tell you, Dungeon Diving 101 resonated with me. A ton of fun. It was a really, really cool book. And what I even like more than anything else almost is the, the, um, the unique world building very very unique world building now some things such as the the dungeon that permeates the entire world and is basically with the economy and all that is based off based around okay cool that's that's been used before the fact that it connects to other worlds are really cool and how you can almost use it as a system of travel if you're willing to go deep enough into the dungeon but along with that the uh the modern technology modern te like this it's interesting because it's your typical swords and sorcery uh, uh dungeon diving type of book that, that bruce santar tends to to write a lot about and yet they have television, <laughs> and they have refrigerators, they have microwaves. Really, really cool. Really cool. Really interesting. And uh, it, it really feels like Bruce has taken the things that he's absolutely mastered while also expanding out to, into some new new areas within his books. So, really cool. Really cool. One of my favorite books, and I, I can't wait. One of my favorite recent reads, and I cannot wait for the sequel to come out. It was absolutely fascinating. Um, our number three most viewed... Dashing Devil by G.D. Brooks. And that's that's another one that, that's kind of interesting. Also kind of surprised me a little bit. You guys all know I'm a fan of superhero fiction um, along with, you know, science fiction, fantasy, just about every uh, every genre out in Westerns. But um, with the superhero fiction, a lot of times those, those tend to be our, our, some of our lesser viewed uh, books and, and uh, or lesser viewed reviews. And this one, again, this is our number three, number three most watched video in January. And it, again, it's... It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's definitely a harem lit. And in, in, in a lot of ways, it's got one of the tropes where you kind of look at it as 
they started with the idea, with the desire of Hamlet, and then wrote some of it around it. The convenience of the powers and the convenience of the world and the, the everything else to kind of force it into a type uh, into an Hamlet type of situation. But the powers are cool. The characters are really cool, really really cool. And again, the superpowers, the way they do the superpowers, and kind of the underlying plot, and especially as it gets deeper. I, I reviewed book two in. And book two actually left me with more questions than was better and left me with more questions that I'm very, 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 very excited to read more about in book three. So um, I'm glad this is one of our more viewed books, but it did surprise me. Definitely did surprise me. So number four, our number four most viewed is another surprising one. Science fiction book, Chicks and Tank Tops. Now this book, guys, utterly fantastic. It came out in January. I think it came out January 3rd. And... Uh, it's, it's a uh, compilation of short stories that are, all are based off of, uh, for those of you guys that are into a little bit of history, you know, back, way back when, Russian wife, husband was killed, she sold all their possessions, their home, everything to buy a tank, became a tank commander, and ended up basically becoming a war hero while, while uh, commanding this tank. And there's been other situations throughout history of, of uh, women tank commanders, and that's that, that kind of led to the idea of chicks and tank tops, where they are just women tank commanders, and awesome, absolutely awesome. I mean, it sounds like a cheesy idea, it's got kind of a cheesy title to it, but guys, there's some freaking legends of science fiction and fantasy. I mean, David Drake, there's just some incredible, incredible, incredible authors, absolute modern day legends and masters of science fiction. That, uh, that contributed to this book. And these some of these are not, you know, flights of fancy. Like the very first story in it is really dark, really, really grim and dark. So this covers, and it even covers a little bit of fantasy, real cool, real, real amusing way. Um, you know, and, and it just covers all, I, I was actually surprised that, that uh, there was a Bolo short story. I don't believe there's a Bolo short story in it. I don't try to remember. Um, but just absolutely absolutely fantastic one of the best books i read in january so i was glad it got a lot of views it was just incredible and our fifth most popular most viewed video actually was poor man's sky by will mccarthy and this again really 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 cool science fiction book and again this one just came out last month it came out january uh, i want to say also january 3rd and just fantastic book absolutely fantastic book incredible incredible book um a ton of fun i couldn't put it down so, uh, and I believe it was book two of a series, so I'm, I'm although the way it was written, it's, it's like book two of a world, or a solar system, rather, um, but the characters are only loosely um, connected, so, you know, I, I did not realize that it was a book two until I finished it, um, so, you know, you definitely nothing wrong with starting with that one, absolutely fantastic book, fantastic book, science fiction, near future, not super far future, but near future, pretty cool book so thank you everybody for watching i hope you guys have uh enjoyed the videos and i look forward to finding out what you guys like the most in february thank you everybody for watching catch you next time i know